A very good morning, Zimbabwe. A very good morning, Africa and beyond. And welcome to this program. Let's talk about the developments in the region or in the uh, continent of Africa. South Africa has been put on spotlight by the word of God. And there is a word of prophecy which touches South Africa significantly. Let us get through this prophecy by Prophet Peter Wellington. And it's a very important prophecy which we cannot ignore, but we really need to take a look. So let us hear what the man of God had to say regarding South Africa. In this wonderful hour, to give you a prophetic word and a prophecy concerning the nation of South Africa. Remember in 2022, I once gave a prophetic warning concerning the nation of South Africa that precipitated with uh, floods and a lot of catastrophes and calamities that hit the nation of South Africa. Now in the year 2023, the Lord spoke to me that this is the year of promotions and demotions amongst nations now in this prophetic word i saw many so-called big nations being lowered and leveled to the ground and other so-called small nations and righteous nations being exalted by the lord and it's so said to underscore and pinpoint that one of the nations which is going to be leveled and be lowered to the ground is the nation of south africa Every time in my prayer, the Lord has shown me that the nation of South Africa is symbolized by the nation which is called Edom or the Edomites, who are the descendants of Esau, who sold their birthright in exchange only for soup. So I'm going to be reading to you prophetically in the book of uh, Obadiah, where we see how God intended to punish and to live down the Edomites. And this is the way that God is descended. In verse number four, he says, Though you sow and loved like the eagle, though your nest is set among the stars, from there I will bring you down, declares the Lord, down, declares the Lord. South Africa is going to be brought down, particularly in this year of 2023. Now, this prophecy I'm giving right now is three-dimensional oriented. It has got the sin part of South Africa, the consequences part of South Africa. Then, in conclusion, we see the prophetic response or the prophetic disposition. Now, number one, the sin of South Africa. When I'm praying in the realm of the spirit, the Lord God has shown me the sin that has been weighed and arrived before the throne of God. And this is killings, violence, and bloodshedding in the nation of South Africa. Of late, we have seen and we've actually come to realize and discover celebrated killings of foreigners in the nation of South Africa. Now celebrate and perpetrated killings of nationalities and other people in the nation of South Africa. People have been dying the worst deaths in South Africa, being actually burned by fire, others in their houses, others in their cars, and all kind of blood sheddings in the nation of South Africa. But I tell you, all has been seen by the eyes of the Lord and God has come to give the right punishment and penance for the nation of South Africa. When I'm praying, he said to me, this prophecy serves in case the people who might believe and mistakenly think that sin will go unnoticed and unpunished. Now, it is written in the book of Obadiah. Verse number 10, he says, because of the violence done to your brother Jacob, shame shall cover you and you shall be cut off forever. 
Shem shall cover you, South Africans, and you shall be cut forever. Hear the word of the living God. You shall be cut forever, and shame will cover you because of your masculines, because of your, your ways of burning the people alive, and all the celebrated violence in the nation of South Africa. Number two, the sin that God is come to judge and condemn in the nation of South Africa, it is the matter of celebrated gayism, lesbianism, and the LGBT community. Now, these have been given enough space in the nation of South Africa. They have been constitutionally, constitutionally approved. It has been adopted in the constitution of South Africa by courts and by the government and the people in the land of South Africa. I want you to understand this, that this is moral diffusion, spiritual, cultural decadency, and sexual immorality, impurity in the land of South Africa. And the Lord will not tolerate this. I was being told to notify people to remember what took place in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. When the sin of uh, gayism and lesbianism increased in the land, the Bible tells us that fire reigned and destroyed people in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. And it shall be also like that in the nation of South Africa. Now I'm arriving quickly to the consequences. Consequence number one. Now South Africa is going to be rejected and be brought under deception by its fellow allies and other countries we have supported it in the past now leaving the country's warfare at stake and bring it to a place of great depression i will read verse number seven and the bible declares all your allies have driven you to your border and those at peace with you have deceived you they prevailed against you, and those who eat your bread have set a trap beneath you, and you have no understanding. Those allies who are close to this nation, they will deceive you, South Africa. They will take away what belongs to you. Those who eat bread that belongs to you, they will deceive you, and they will reject you, and you'll be left with no allies, says the word of the Spirit. Now, consequence number two, the wisdom and the powers of the most accomplished South Africans will not be adequate to anticipate and relieve the trouble South Africa is going to go through and the horrifying economic and social down sentence that the nation is going to face. And this is shown in the verse number eight and he says will i not on that day declares the lord destroy the wise men out of edom and understanding out of the mountain of Esau? the wise men will be cut off and the wisdom of south africa shall become so foolish and this won't take time it's happening now say the lord now consequence number three before i close there shall be a national loss that is economically, socially, and politically in the land of South Africa. Everything shall be insufficient. That is why you see this that already, that with the proper authorities that have been set right now, everything in South Africa is going to be deficient. Deficient of water. Deficient of supplies of electricity. Deficient of supplies of food. Everything politically, economically, shall be at a place of deficiency. And I will show you this in the Bible. In verses 5 and verse number 6 of the book of Obadiah. He said, if thieves came to you, if blunders came by night, how you have been destroyed, would they not steal only enough of themselves? If grape gathers of gatherers came to you, would they not leave gleanings? 
how Esau is being pillaged and his treasures sought out. The Lord God himself will cause the nation to become a place of deficient and the place of depravity. And it's happening already in the nation of South Africa. But more is coming, says the Lord. When I'm closing this prophetic word, the Lord gave me a message of hope for the nation of South Africa. Because remember, his name is called love. Now look at this. This is a prophecy which has a condition. And look at the condition. While judgments awaits the nation of South Africa, confidence is for those who are going to repent and those who are going to seek for the face of the Lord. The Lord God is able to deliver and is able to give forgiveness. South Africans, this matter is a matter of life and death. Choose for yourself. I'm the voice of the holy nation, Prophet Peter Wellington. I pray that those going to receive this word, they will make the right amendation before it's going to become worse. God bless you. So this is the prophecy delivered by Prophet Peter Wellington and delivered well in time. And um, this is a prophecy concerning to South Africa. And um, I do not know what you may think about this prophecy, but let us watch and pray. We have seen the downfall of South Africa starting already with um, so many problems and so many challenges hovering around South Africa. There is no certainty in South Africa. There are divisions everywhere within the borders of South Africa electricity challenges, um, economic challenges, currencies losing value, uh, pro, uh, problems and problems, problems after problems, the association of South Africa with evil regimes and so forth. So Team Zimbabwe, Team Africa, and um, uh, everyone else, let us continue to pray for the nation of South Africa. <laughs> 